Good morning. Ah, a Wuthering Heights day again. <laughs> Low hill fog. But I got a hankering to go for that big field over there, so the one way over in the distance in the mist. Ah, you never know, do you? But you gotta. If you get an itch, you gotta scratch it. <laughs> may get something, may get nothing. Who's bothered? <laughs> oh dear, that's a gaunt looking tree. Anyway, we'll see you in the hunt. There's a um, lead, unusual. Thought it might be a token. <laughs> and another piece of lead. Well, I've had two hits so far. Sean's still struggling. <laughs> a perfect teardrop of lead. <laughs> I'm getting leaded to death today. Oh, Sean there in the mist. Oh, he's trying out his E-track. <laughs> I'm telling on you, Sean. <laughs> Another of those um, lead uh, sort of weights. They've got a little hole in the top and a big one in the bottom. I'm wondering if they've anything to do with a, a hem weight um, that I turned up yesterday that I thought was a button. Uh, I've had, what, half a dozen of these off these fields. Yeah, a little bronze latch. <laughs> Coming up with a few goodies here, but um, mm, not up to my usual standards. <laughs> I'm getting leaded to death today. <laughs> not going to where I was going um, Sean wants to do up here so okay we'll do up here I am getting leaded to death <laughs> lead discs <sighs> I lost Sean my goodness I found a coin a 5p <laughs> Now, basic one gave it 56. Uh, GM power gave it 64 on the reading. Hmm. A coin. Going to be a one coin hunt. Ha ha ha. 1945. George V. Had a bit of a bang. I didn't do that. Uh, 91 in basic, 94 in um, GM power. It's not giving the same reading. <laughs> I was just going to leave this field and I thought, no, just let's have a look here. And there we go, boom. <laughs> There's the old barn in the mist. Derelict now. Looks very spooky. I'm not getting anything old, I've just got a, a cog wheel of some description. It well, it hasn't even got cogs on, it's just a wheel. Uh, not getting anything old up here. <sighs> oh. Oh, it's a little uh, fitting off the top of something. Oh. I'm finally in the field uh, I was coming to in the first place. I've totally lost Sean. No idea where he is in this mist. Anyway, I've, I've turned up a Georgian coin. I presume it's Georgian. I'll have to wait till I get home to do that one. I thought that was the spoon, uh, the bowl of a spoon, but it's, it's bronze, I'm not too sure. I have to give it a clean. <laughs> so I thought, oh come on, I'll have a look somewhere where I've, uh, I haven't actually looked. I've done all along that wall because there's a footpath on it, done it 30 years ago, so I thought I'd, I'd come just inland a little bit sort of thing. And uh, 18... 1890, is that a three or an eight? Let's call it an eight. 1898, uh, Young Head Victoria there. Or is, is it Young Head? Uh, no, it's, I think it's old Victoria. But, oh well, <laughs> shall continue up here then. You know, if I threaten to go home, it keeps, it starts giving me goodies, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you noticed that? 1905 Edward 7 
footpath runs along that wall there but I've done that in the past so I've just come a bit as I put it inland <laughs> where the cows are walking this was on the top that was a, that was about half inch from the top I was going to give it up because it gives such a it gave a tin can bleep actually <laughs> oh there's a goodie there's a lot of mucking about oh, what are you Eighteen set. Oh no, eighteen eight, eighteen eighty-eight, eighteen fifty-eight. Uh, I think that's eighteen eighty-eight. <laughs> Another Victorian. Yeah, they were walking on the path. They're going cutting through the grass. Well, a grey, miserable day today. It's not like me, but ugh, I can't say I've enjoyed myself today. I'm being plagued with animal tubes. <laughs> uh, and it's, ugh, the weather's a bit depressing. Not like me. <laughs> oh, look. Even my auto-tune doesn't like this weather. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do a little bit detect on the way home. But if you don't hear from me, I'll see you in the roundup. Ah, oh, come on, sunshine. <laughs> yeah, walking home. Uh, George Third. So, that's the first George Third I've had in this particular field. I got told there was a settlement here at one time, but... Uh, I don't know where on earth it could be. It's supposed to be on an old map. Oh, it was a grey day today. So, um, can't say I was exactly happy today. <laughs> not like, you know, it's not like me, that. But, uh, <laughs> um, had an unexpected uh, companion for a while, Sean. <laughs> seen, me on, uh, seen me on YouTube and uh, turns up. Haha, <laughs> to do a field he'd done 30 years ago. <laughs> Come on, Sean, pull the other one. <laughs> it don't matter, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, I've dubbed you in, uh, showing you with the, using a, a Mine Lab e track. <laughs> oh, come on, enough of this fun. Let's have a look at the. Um, uh, we start off with the. Um, Junkite, forgot what I called it then. Um, there were enough of that around today. Curious chunks of metal. Discs, that looks like off a lock, isn't it? Uh, don't know where that's come from. No idea what you are. At all. Um, that's a clip, isn't it, for fastening things together? Yeah. That's a latch, I think. Not sure what you are. At all. You could... No. Thought at one time it might be uh, leaded for the leaded windows, but... No, I'm not sure. This was quite substantial. It's been off... Um, mm, something or other fastened onto there, didn't it? Uh, I got this up in several pieces. Uh, it looks like it's the the trim of a box. It's got little hinges and things. Now, it was well down. I mean, we're, we're looking... Shh, we, we were well down. Come on, call it 12 inches at least. We were well down. Well down, well down. Um, so it was all coming up in little bits. But if that is the frame of a wooden box that has long since gone I might go back to that particular hole and uh, and see if there was anything left in that box ah oh, if I get the time <laughs> lead <laughs> you won't believe how many different numbers that thing <laughs> produced <laughs> this way one figure this way another figure <laughs> uh, again I'm getting leaded to death today Lead, 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 all over the place. 
lead lead teardrop. This is a, this is a disc, isn't it? Yeah, it goes around there, and there's a hole in the middle. Another disc there of lead. I thought for one moment that was a um, a token, but not to be. Now here's what I would have considered a button at one time, but um, I understand it could be a hem weight. It's rather large. It's for holding curtains down or the hem of a of a dress. Uh, well, quite weird. Which again, I've had a few of these, and again they could be little lead weights for holding something down like it, like the hem weight. Um, I've had a lot of those out of the fields around here. Okay, let's move on to here. Uh, I didn't realise this was until I cleaned it. it. It's a buckle, isn't it? Part of a buckle. Main part's gone. Um, something give that a right wallop. Now, I called in at the um, my Georgian horse field on the way back just for a quick couple of minutes look and I turned up this um, it's a clip hasp it's not a clasp it's a hasp it's the part where the look and it's nice it's got decoration it's the part that the clasp fits into so here's a clasp I've had on a previous occasion and, and what do I do turn it over that way look so you can see what happens and then that just they clip together and that holds your clogs together so that's a complete um, hasp and clasp not quite like that, I've, I've not had a hasp with a design on before again it's the old um, eight, eight pointed star it's very popular around here that design right, money <laughs> da -da -dum, 5p <laughs> that's the old 5p that um, was the size of a shilling. Uh, it replaced the shilling. Now, well, I ask you, it's Victorian, it's old, you're getting back 18 or oh, 88, 1888, half penny. Georgian, really got out, they just can't take the land up there, the acid. Another Georgian got out look. Uh, nice, nice penny. Well, not too nice. <laughs> 1945, George VI. It's had a belt look. I didn't do it. <laughs> but something's had a go at it. And then there's a. Um, right, got to get these right way around to start with. That's Victoria, isn't it? So. It's going to be 1890. What's that last number? 1892. Yes, two, possibly eight, but I think it's 1890. Or is it a three? <laughs> it's one of them days today. I'm going for two or three. <laughs> uh, now, Edward, Edward seven. Nice one. 1905. I've not had a 1905 penny before. Edward Seventh. Yay. And here we go. This this bronze um, I considered at one time the ball of a spoon. No way. It's heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And it's got designs over it. All over it. See the little circles with points in the middle? Uh, one there, one there, one there, look. This is very heavily designed. Uh, very heavily designed. And when I turn this this way around, this can't be real, but you see that Norman Knight there, look. Got the Anglo-Saxon helmet and the hand and the horse's head and the legs so we've got um, a knight on a horse <laughs> ah well it might be my imagination but look at the detail there's there's a lot of detail on this thing I'll, I'll have this in the museum they can clean it up properly 
but uh, uh, well could be Anglo-Saxon because it's it's from a little Anglo-Saxon village. It's been nice to know what it really is. Anyway, uh, ah, I suppose a hunt is a hunt, isn't it? <laughs> and I ended up with some little goodies there. But oh, what a great day. I think I'll give it a rest for a while and I'll oh, let the weather improve. But, um, like I said, eh, the weather was miserable and I was feeling a bit miserable myself today. So, good luck, happy hunting, get out there, get the stuff found. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.